I've always been an early morning person. 35 years of being at my classroom desk for 6.30 every morning. I guess it's a lifetime habit that's now hard to escape, given that I've now retired. But it is a habit with advantages, for quite often when visiting places, I get the privilege of watching a community come to life when the dawn breaks and the sun begins its rise. Good morning. The sun is shining. The seas are flat calm. There's a bit of a breeze beginning to pick up. I have my Captain Morgan's coffee. I have my Captain Morgan's bacon sandwich. We are moored alongside the pontoon here at the Sulcombe and it's going to be a lovely day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board Arwen. Welcome to sunny Sulcombe. A few people are already out and about early this morning enjoying the sunrise. The boats are catching the morning outgoing tide and they're heading down river to cross the bar. Well, I've finished breakfast. Um, it's getting busy, so I guess it's time to cast off now and head for the Estremouth and escape all the holiday crowds. I haven't got any particular plans for the day. Um, I thought I'd just mooch across eastwards to Prawl Point um, and have a little look-see along the coastline. I cannot begin to describe how clear the sea is today. Clear, clean, it's absolutely wonderful. And you can see the odd garfish swimming underneath the hull as we go along. Brilliant. Talking of which, I wonder what the underside of Arwen looks like. Then it's time to test the waterproofness of the GoPro. just in the outer estuary and we're just sailing across uh, towards the west. Um, high tide was around about 8 o'clock and it's about 11 o'clock, uh, sorry half past 11 now so um, the tide's uh, rushing out a bit now. Uh, the winds are quite light this morning, um, only about uh, three or four knots uh, so it's light wind sailing. But the new sail um, trimming arrangements I've made, um, she's actually moving far better in light winds than I've ever got her moving before. Um, so I'm pleasantly quite surprised. Stunning scenery, and you've got the sea to yourself. It's absolutely wonderful. That's Stairhole Bay and Bolt Head behind me um, and there's some spectacular cliff foot beaches there um, but they're only accessible by boat or by the long cliff walk from South Sands. Um, it's normally quite a sheltered bay um, and um, during the height of the summer you'll often find that there's the speed boats out there with wakeboarding and, and donut racing and all that kind of stuff. One of the really nice things I love about this boat is that you can actually trim the sails and then lock off the tiller so that she practically sails herself. I'm going along now is the Salcombe Bar and the entrance to the Kingsbridge Estuary itself. Um, it's an unusual estuary, this one. There's, there's no big river feeding it. Um, it's just a series of small streams and creeks which come down from the surrounding hillsides and the coastal plateau. It is a deep um, rear, though. Um, the original river valley um, was inundated by sea level rises um, just after the last ice age.
Uh, it's been pretty light winds out here. Um, Prawl Point still seems a far away. Um, so I'm turning back towards Stairhill Bay now, and I'm going to try and go and find Queen Victoria riding a pig. Yep, you did hear me right. Queen Victoria on a pig. It's a famous rocky outcrop at the foot of the estuary entrance cliffs, and when you view it from a specific angle, it looks exactly like Queen Victoria riding a pig. With almost the tidal stream now out, um, the bar has settled down a lot more than it was this morning when I came out. Um, I came out under motor and it was a bit, uh, bit bouncy um, as the tide was going out and the wind was coming in a bit, uh, but it's calmed right down now. We've had a few um, late summer storms and you can see some of the seaweed and the leaves and the bits of twigs and things drifting out now on the outgoing current. And we're just sailing up against an outgoing tide at the moment. So we're just about making way against it. Stunning coastal walks on the outer estuary area. Beautiful cliffside scenery. Don't know whether you can make it out, but just ahead of me over there by the sand, you can just see the line of the surf as the bar is becoming exposed as the tide drops down beautiful sight, all those golden beaches. I'm hoping that over this winter season I'm going to do a short series of vlogs exploring this estuary. Um, I want to try and sail up to Kingsbridge and I want to sail up the Frogmore and the South Pool Creeks as well. At the moment I'm feeling brave enough um, to want to do some winter camping on board. Although, if we have another beast from the east like we did last winter, um, I think I may think twice about the camping on board bit. Um, knocking snowdrifts off um, a tarp tent doesn't quite hold the appeal it did when I was in my thirties. Yeah, I know, I'm getting wussy, I know. Just up ahead you can see a little red um, dory. Um, towing all the um, big crab storage, lobster storage um, units. Uh, they take them out to the mouth of the estuary where they tie them on and anchor them and it keeps all the lobster and the crab fresh. Um, I think it was um, last summer that they had um, a raid on all those crab and lobster storage units um, they were ever so upset and rightly so um, in the middle of the night someone came into the outer estuary and lifted all their crab and all their lobster um, and for inshore fishermen who've put in all that time and all that work that must be extraordinarily painful sure I ducked this time because I got clubbered on the head when I was up at Trelegan a few weeks back because I wasn't watching what I was doing. <laughs> One of the most luxurious hotels in Devon coming up in front of you. The Salcombe Harbour Hotel. And just to the right of it, the red brick building with the tower, is the um, Salcombe Yacht Club. So it pays not to make any sailing mistakes in this stretch just here. It would be terribly embarrassing. Uh, I think it's time to find a little beach um, for our wind to uh, rest on. I can feel a latte calling in a kiosk. Good coffee. Nice people. Can you see me now? Yes. You're filming me. Okay. Right, now press it again. The same button. Yeah. 
Now, let's hope Arwen's still where I left her then. If you have enjoyed this voyage, click subscribe below and come and join us on the next one.